Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Headcracks Hip Hop Spot. We got the super dope individual in the building, man. You may have seen on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. You may have seen all over the internet blazing bars with some of the dopest people in the game. But right now, she's hanging out with us, ladies and gentlemen, one time for Tiffany Fox. <laughs> I like that introduction. You know, you got to make it big, man. <laughs> you know, it, it's very seldom. We get a lot of women that come through here on the hip-hop mm -hmm. tip, but mm -hmm. it's been a minute since um, since I had somebody from St. Louis oh, okay. come through and, uh, and blaze the spot. Okay, yeah. I'm here in Atlanta, so I've been here for a minute. Got you. So let's talk about the bad bitch commandments. Can we say that? Yeah, we can say that. We can say the bad the, bitch commandments. The bleep game is strong oh, okay, over so here. so we can keep saying bitch. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Like, I, w I wish I could have too short to come in and say it for me every time just so we could really put the punctuation mark on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the Bad Bitch Commandments. I just put it out on Thanksgiving. Okay. So I'm excited about it. It's basically just talking about women. Let's stop settling. It's time to get your bag. It's time to be independent. You know, so that's what it's about. It's so dope. What Am is I ratchet? What is way? rule number five of the Bad Bitch Commandment? We're going to jump around. Uh, five is never tell, even though, like, even, like, if you and your friend fall out, you never tell a business. Okay. So, you know, that's like rule number five. Just keep, it's all about character. Just keep it classy and just leave the bitch where she at. But don't tell her secrets and none of her business and stuff like that. So in this business, because a lot of times friends become friends out of opportunity, mm -hmm. not necessarily out of genuineness. Mm -hmm. Do you have a hard time maintaining friends in this business? Do I have, I don't try to be friends with nobody. So okay. I don't really have that problem with falling out with girls and all that type of messy stuff because I keep my circle real tight. And anybody that you kind of see me around are my friends. I do have associates. I don't really call them my friends, but I do have, you know, a solid crew that I've been with for a good eight years plus. I don't really have that okay, cattiness going on, you know, <laughs> like a lot of girls be, you know, having going on, but not me. Got you. Yeah. So what made you come out with the 10 Bad Bitch Commandments? Like, you know, like, because like, people do need a playbook. Yeah. Because without rules, everything's yeah. chaos and disorder. Um, it, it kind of, the whole album, to be honest with you, was kind of motivated about what's going on, well, what went on in my life. Like, it was so much that had went on. It was like, you know, music kind of saved me. It's like therapy to me. So when I did the whole project, it was like empowering me again. Like, Tiffany, get up. Don't invite nobody else to your pity party. Because I had lost a lot of people that I loved in like a small time frame. Yeah, and it had me take a break on music for a second. But as soon as I got up, when I listened to my pastor, he was like, you know what? Success is in movement. You can't just be sitting there and expect, expect success to fall at your doorstep. So I was like, you know what? Let me get up. And I got in the studio and one record after another after another. I just started getting back into my zone. And that's what it's kind of it was about because it could have took me out the stuff that <laughs> I went through in 2016, and it was just like I took a break for a minute. So now I'm just empowered, empowering everybody else from heartbreak to losing my best friend to losing my grandmother, losing my cousin, just almost lost it all, and I'm here. So I don't want no excuses to my ladies that's going through whatever they're going through. Just move, just keep it moving, and that's what the Bad Bitch Commandments is about. Yo, and I think that's why yeah. the music seems more authentic than some people because, yeah. like, when you when you when you're regurgitating other people's stories uh -huh. or you're just kind of just being real vague, I mean, like, I mean, people might feel it, but yeah. when you can connect the pain to the words, man, it turns into something different. And it's so crazy. I did a record on there that's called two two years ago because it was about a heartbreak that I went through, which a lot of if what I had to learn is if you living and breathing, you're going to get your heart broken. And, you know, but when you're going through it, you feel like you're the only person that's going through that. And I made a record about it two years ago. So now that I'm out that space completely, everybody around me is like, okay, the album done, but where is two years ago? Mm. That, that I mean, the record. And I was, oh, I'm not in that space no more. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to relive that. They was like, Tiffany, that's going to help somebody else. I was like, okay, I'll put it on there, but I'm going to call it two years ago because I'm not in this space right, no more. Right. And I don't want nobody thinking that I'm still harboring over that. So, and that's one of the biggest responses I've gotten off the album is two years ago. 